Hi, I'm Juhi Chaturvedi and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Well, it's a huge privilege to have uh, Juhi Chaturvedi with us. Uh, she's a national award winning writer uh, for Piku and she's done amazing work so far as an ad personality as well as uh, a film writer. Less work so far but really, really worthwhile stuff. Uh, Juhi, a huge pleasure to have you on Bollywood Hangama, finally. Thank you so much. We've been yeah. hoping to just get you since uh, Vicky Dona, but uh, now at, at least Piku, after Piku, we, have, we finally got you. Um, are you feeling vindicated somewhere th th this national award? Uh, you, you, you've had a, a, a tough journey. Uh, you, you've written, a, your first film was Shoe Bite that, that, that never released. Yeah. And uh, this is your fourth film from what, from what I understand. Uh, not really. Actually, for Shoe Bite, I did only the dialogues. Uh, right. So it wasn't really my script. Uh, right. my, this would technically be my second if I include Vicky, yeah, screenplay dialogue story, Khub Surat, Madras Cafe, right. but as story screenplay dialogues, it's the second after Vicky Dona. How's the feeling like? You, you're sharing with, with Himanshu Sharma. Yeah. Um, and uh, almost everyone unanimously has been appreciative of uh, your work. There have been some people um, who've been saying that the, the writing is maybe stronger than the direct, uh, direction as well. Uh, how, do you, how, do you, how do you take these? Uh, because there's like 13 years of uh, friendship behind us. Yeah. Uh, how am I feeling after the National Award? You know, uh, it's like that boyfriend who wants to commit, mm. but the girlfriend is constantly introducing the guy, papa se milo, mummy se milo, cousin se milo, and the guy is saying, nee, nee, main karunga, shadi karunga. And so, so I'm feeling like that, that I know I have to write further. But this is like that, that kind of a pressure I want to. That's a very interesting way to put it actually. One thing with which I personally find very, very fascinating about your writing is that it, that, that sense of humor that you have. Um, it's a very sprightly, a very refined sense of humor, but at the same time very massy as well. Yeah. Uh, be it Vicky Dona, be it Piku. Uh, many people feel that uh, how just making a film around uh, like a, many are calling it like first potty film of India and all these things. Um, it's like a, a bold decision in its own way, but the way it has paid off and the way it started on the first day and the way the box office reached and even, even critically. Um, do, you, do, you, do you like taking risks, Sama, Sama? I don't know if it's a risk, but it definitely pushes uh, me beyond my comfort zone. You know, uh, I don't start by um, saying that I'm going to make a diff uh, sub uh, film on a very different subject. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you look at it, Piku is every household story. So in that sense, it is so massy, it's so... Um, regular and mundane in that sense that it's, it's uh, you know every daughter has felt that way every family which is who's had a you know an elderly person at home or you know the pressure of uh, sharing the uh, same living space with your children and children with your parents so in that sense it's very very common but i think it's it's the sometimes when things are so obvious that we ignore them and when somebody puts it up there on the screen you suddenly feel that you're seeing the mirror and that's what I think people are connecting with and I like to push myself to uh, that level that I bring out the most obvious things which we ignore. No, no, absolutely. Now, in fact, you know, I, I must tell you this, that uh, my father, my mother, mother is feeling vindicated after mm -hmm. watching this film. She has, yeah. she has seen it. Yeah. Um, she has always had this thing that, have you had your motion? Yeah. <laughs> it's like that you should not eat your breakfast all the time you had your motion and all this thing. We used to find it very, very irritating, my yeah. elder brother. Yeah. And we, we've had so many yeah, discussions yeah, on yeah. that. But when she when she saw the movie and she was like that, she had the last laugh that, see, it's not merely me who had who had these notions. It's something that that everyone should 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 be just uh, very very particular about. Um, you know, it can be a serious subject as yeah, well, yeah. and there is pathos in the movie mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, how do you how do you strike a balance? No constipation, like like what you said, what your mother feels, it's absolutely true that it is uh, your emotional health as well as physical health and in this film I've tried to balance that and uh, uh, yes it could have been a very silly potty humour film but the, if you see from the person who is suffering it or the relationship that these two people share, it is not a subject of joke, it's not humour there at all. I right. see it lightly that the audience is uh, enjoying it but actually come to think of it it's a very intense very um, 
strenuous relationship they they both share and uh, motion emotion i feel is the truth of life it okay. is when i spoke about the, the the humor part of it there's a lot of humor between deepika and irfan mm -hmm. even between irfan and mr bachchan when he just gets down from the car ki that yeah. till the time he doesn't just throw away this mm. uh, weapon correct i'm not going to just yeah. sit with him yeah. so i think that was a hilarious moment yeah. that yeah. entire three of yeah. them just yeah. just just yeah. sitting yeah. over there um vicky dona as well uh, when, when we saw it uh, once again it was a very unique concept i i believe that the fact that you 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 had your background in advertising maybe i think mm -hmm. uh, you get uh, these notions from there as well now once again that uh, th this entire sperm mm -hmm. uh, thing that that you just took on and uh, people love the the entire film mm -hmm. and not merely the lead characters i think anu kapoor mm -hmm. uh, he will always be remembered mm -hmm. because of uh, that, that persona um, how do you look back at uh, vicky dona now Vicky Dona was a big challenge for me. Actually, that was a bigger challenge, I guess, um, as compared to people, because in terms of writing, that was my first attempt in screenwriting, and secondly, a subject which is such a closed-door um, conversation, you know, sperm donation or uh, infertility, for that matter, or any of those things. It's they are taboo in our country, and how do you uh, write a two-hour film on that, and how to convince, starting with my director, that me, being a woman, will be able to pull it off without making you feel uncomfortable while you're listening the script right, and right. at the same time eventually the audience you know if the film goes down um, that far so that was way more challenging and uh, um, again like you said you know the characters thankfully for me um, i have grown in chaos i've i've come from a sort of a joint family you've stayed in lajpat nagar uh, that was briefly like yeah for two and a half three years mm -hmm. so i Uh, got a very close um, uh, i mean observation of of that uh, society you know where refugees are somehow you know finally settled they are living that life of show off or whatever but that's still their triumph over you know the partition that they have gone through the miseries that they have gone through sure. but so i i could um, uh, closely observe them understand what what makes them who they are and therefore the character of vicky or pg or uh, dolly alwalia came um, that strongly for me um but uh, otherwise also i i thrive in chaos i love observing people and i have been trying to do that um, mm. to steal people from here and there and put them in my films no, no absolutely yeah. and somewhere you come across uh, in in your writing we come across very strong uh, women characters strong and progressive uh beat i think the, the bg i think mm, yeah. the, the fact that she is uh, drinking alcohol mm. with a uh, uh, bahu and mm. uh, dolly and mm. alwali i think she was outstanding uh people loved mosmi jarji's yeah. uh, yeah, character in, in 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 eco um even even that um, that lady who was kaki that, kaki i yeah. think she was outstanding that yeah. entire uh intellectual yeah, element that yeah, she brought yeah, at the yeah. same time that cynicism that she yeah. brought i think that was brilliant mm -hmm. and people are like that mm -hmm. there are people like that and they are, the way mr bachchan says that he is she is justified in what she is saying yeah, yeah, yeah. um is it something that you that you bring from your own uh, life it's it's very interesting when i was just reading about you, you you've been born and brought up in in lucknow i yeah, believe yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. your 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 parent your father was in a in education a department yes right. yes you know so uh a huge credit goes to them because the kind of conversations that happen around me i may not have been part of those conversations but i know there were a lot of these if i may use the word adda happening you know when my father his friends and my grandfather they would sit together and talk there were discussions um, uh, you know uh, whether it was madhavi verma whether it was uh, premchand whether it was any uh, english writer so the conversations around me were very progressive and we were allowed to listen you know it wasn't like ki bacche kamre mein hain chup ho jao we were listening to all of that i think lot of it went um, in my mind there and even while we were growing up we were allowed voices you know we were allowed to speak our mind we were encouraged to say what we want to dining table was the most heated um, you know the place where most heated arguments happened in in, in our house and everybody was fine with that mm. so i think that has continued uh, with me and therefore i'm able to write uh, talking about women character i would like to believe that uh, in whatever little ways but there is certain progressiveness in our country i would like to believe that certain section of the society is thinking 
outside the the you know the set norms of the society absolutely uh, women are going out they are working therefore they are interacting with certain kind of situations and i would like to believe that my women are very strong women and even men i mean i wouldn't want to um, you know, feminist, just because feminist. I want to make, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, just because I want to make my, um, you know, women strong, I don't want to make my men weak. I think they're very sophisticated, very understanding men who are treating women at par, whether it's Rana, whether, it, whether it's Sayyid, whether it's Vicky, they're very equal participant um, mm. in that, uh, you know, film. You've been... Um uh, in advertising, you were in the arts department earlier, then you got into um, uh, copywriting. Yeah. Um, I believe um, someone told you that you, 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 you write such such long copy yeah. when you start writing dialogues. Yeah. You have the unique distinction, Juhi Chaturvedi, that uh, you've written ads for Amir Khan and yeah. he has not uh, just removed a single single yeah. <laughs> word yeah. line from that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's a huge credit. Because yeah. Amir generally always has yes. his suggestions. Yeah. If He's not, uh, from what I have known him, he's not uh, unnecessarily intrusive. It's only that if he so finds he something, wants things right. He, he wants, wants things perfectly. Yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, how was that experience of working with with Amir Khan? You know, it was brilliant, and thankfully um, for me, I'm an equally nitpicky person, if I may say. Okay. So, uh, if if I have written something, it doesn't go to Shajit or to an Amir to or even to my bosses unless and until it is like I have an argument for every single word. Mm. I don't send it out. I don't write things just because I felt like writing them. Yeah, mm. of course I write them because I feel like writing them, but I have a reason to write them. So I can argue at <laughs> length. So if Amir had felt otherwise, I would have had my <laughs> very strong arguments. arguments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. After that, if he would have done them, I, I don't know. <laughs> but right. Fortunately, it never reached there. Jee. You've said at, at several junctures that uh, writers not paid well uh, in the industry. As far as film writing is concerned, uh, it's a long process. The film starts and, and when the film ends. And uh, first of all, the amount is paltry. At the same time, uh, you get a signing amount and then after that, one has to literally ask many a times. That's one of the reasons that you did not get into film writing uh, till I think last one year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you continued with your advertising job. Do you find that uh, really disturbing I think you've also said that at least if, if a film works at least like three percent of that should be coming to the writer somehow um, no I haven't said that bit it must uh, have been maybe, maybe yeah, quoted yeah, or yeah, yeah, that yeah. Yeah. But, but somewhere but yes compared I, to I, Hollywood yes writing of course you know, we can't even we can't even compare right. uh, draw hmm. parallels uh, over here with Hollywood but having said that yes a film uh, is a long drawn process mm. and if you have to write fun, uh, one film at a time if you mm. decide not to become the factory who keeps going on you know somebody who keeps going on uh, sure you know Absolutely. there are people I've heard are surviving only on the signing amounts mm. you know th these are the scary stories I have fortunately for me I haven't personally gone through that experience because of your advertising, because, advertising yeah because of my advertising uh, career that's behind a, me a, a salaried thing. job that I have been used to and film uh, industry is fairly new to me and again mm. I've, I've been working with people I know so I have not been on the receiving end so far but what I hear uh, makes me a uh, little sad because ultimately writer does surrender himself completely to uh, to his, his writing and those months and months of that toil must be well compensated certainly um, you know the four part um, thing that first you sign then you give the first draft then the film when it goes on floor you know, it's too small an amount for mm. a writer to survive who just probably wants to write one or two films at a time in a city like Bombay right. you're talking about right. so uh, while Film Writers Association is, is uh, working a lot for that Anjum Rajabali and, and his uh, team has finally I think come up with the minimum pay scale uh, wage uh, sort of contract mm. but uh, I don't know how many producers will uh, Accept that. Openly accept it and if they are doing it, it's great because it's about time that that mm -hmm. craft gets its due. Ajui, we are having a bit of a rapid fire with you. Yeah, yeah. So let's see that uh, mm -hmm. all, all the wit that you have in your movies, so how you bring into yeah. our rapid fire as well. Pen is mightier than the sword, so what is mightier than the pen? Thought write a few words or a sentence or maybe like a word for the following so what would it be Amitabh Bachchan legend 
विश्वजीत सरकार इंस्टिंक्टिव आयुष्मान खुराना विजय टर्न ग्रेट एक्टर विच इज रेडिटी दीपिका पाडुकोण ब्रिलियंस बेस्ट कोट यू हैव एवर कम अक्रॉस comes to mind anything if if there is anything yeah there are many um you know a lot of uh, oliver twist a lot of uh, <laughs> god sort of can't remember any right now it's okay we will we, uh, we will we'll take it we'll later. take it later what product do you think should the following celebs should be endorsing consider you are you have an ad mm. background as well first uh, i think they should not be endorsing anything ah uh-huh. <laughs> I think they should just be great actors. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes they're okay. Hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. Hypothetical. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Shahrukh Khan. Something that maybe he is not endorsed. Maybe should be. It's something that he hasn't endorsed so far. Uh, okay. I think um, if there was something called a thinking mind, mm. if there was a product called a thinking mind, maybe great. he could be a great Salman Khan. Salman Khan for uh, I think. Again, I'm talking about products which don't exist, but you know, you know, a, a teddy bear which has the poor me <laughs> written on it. Nobody loves me. Nobody hugs me. Okay, Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar. Uh, I think he he is body building, gym, protein, all of that. Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. I think uh, antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> Deepika Padukone. Deepika Padukone. She. I don't know. I I can't put her in a materialistic space at all. Actually. Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Chopra is Indian brand ambassador. What would be your first honest first reaction if? Uh, Shujit calls and tells you that Shubhair is finally getting a release. I'll be very happy for him. Okay. Woody Allen calls you and tells you that he enjoyed the writing of Piku a lot. I would ask him to meet me for a coffee <laughs> and tell me more about it. A writer in Hol- Bollywood and Hollywood you really look up to. Or maybe it can be a past writer as well. Uh Majid Majidi. Okay. Kiran and Kiran. Yeah. Past writers, uh, sorry, writers. You're talking directors, sorry. Well, writers. Writers, yeah, yes. Yeah. So of course, schools are here. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Ray's uh, writing for all his films. Are you, you, you yes. been a fan of Satyajit? Yes, Ray. yes, yes. Ritwik Hatta, big time. A film in recent times you saw that impressed you with its writing. Masan. Masan. Yeah. Okay. If you turn a director tomorrow, would you hire write your own script or hire a writer? Oh, like my own script. But you you'd like to direct? Uh, I haven't thought about it at all because right now I'm just really really um, enjoying my stint as a writer. There is lots inside me right now which can come out in its absolute Jee, purity. Bilkul. Direction is altogether a different ball game. I don't know if I have it in me at all or not. Right now I don't know. What would you do in the following situations? You're stuck up on a scene for days and don't know what to do next. I've read one of your interviews. You've spoken about writer's block. Yeah. Uh, you reached the, the the stage where Mr. Bachchan passes away, and after that, you were stuck for a, some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah, depressing yeah, for you yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened because it, it just became a reality for me. It became as if he was a character who was living in flesh, blood, and bones in front of me, who just passed away. So. I couldn't bring myself out of that situation. So yeah, for next seven uh, eight days, uh, G- G- I, I just couldn't go back to the writing board. Not because of the block, but just the sorrow hit me so badly. So I don't have that demarcation. So you will take a break, basically. I would take a break. Yes. Okay, you have dedicatedly written a script, and the project gets shelved. Mm. You had a bit of experience as far as uh, shoe bite. You know yeah, the dialogue yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. I have experienced all of that in advertising big time mm-hmm. so that you write 10000 scripts and they just don't get made and uh, so therefore I, I i don't get affected anymore I'm, i'm 
थोड़ी हार्ड एंड डन है जी आई वुड बी अफेक्टेड बट आई हैव फेथ दैट आई राइट समथिंग एल्स क्या बात व्हिच विल कम आउट इफ गिवन अ चांस व्हाट वुड यू लाइक टू चेंज अबाउट द राइटिंग इन द फॉलोइंग विकी डोना आम विकी डोनाज राइटिंग नहीं यार ठीक है भी मद्रास कैफे मद्रास कैफे में भी आई कुड हैव डन लिटिल मोर होमवर्क लिटिल मोर होमवर्क एंड आई कॉन्स्टेंटली फील दैट अबाउट दैट फिल्म बिकॉज इट्स इट्स नॉट माय इंस्टिंक्टिव स्पेस इट्स नॉट माय नेचुरल स्पेस द पॉलिटिकल स्पेस सो व्हाइल आई डिड इट फॉर द फिल्म एंड सम हाउ डिड इट बट मोर टाइम वुड हैव प्रोबेब्ली अलाउड मी मोर यू नो या बिकॉज दैट सम इट्स इट्स अ रियल लाइफ इवेंट सो इट रिक्वायर्स मी या Uh, but I think uh, I love Madras Cafe. I think it was, uh, it's it's it was it's greatly made for. Yes. Yeah. Piku, would like to change something about Piku? No. And do you regret the fact that, um, in fact, when when uh, immediately after the release, uh, I spoke to, I interviewed uh, Deepika, Irfan, and uh, Shuji Sarkar together, and uh, Irfan pointed out, and even Shuji Shuji pointed out certain deleted scenes from the mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. Uh, which, which he felt that should have been retained in the film, especially I think certain conversations between Moshmi Chaj Chaji and um, Mr. Bachchan. Yeah. 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 about uh, mr bachchan's wife yeah 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 um do you do you, do you at at times do you feel that uh, such things uh, oh, we have big arguments mm. we uh, i argue a lot with chaji then and i almost feel that you know why is he deleting the scene but you know then at some point in time you have to just let go and you have to realize that why he's saying and what he's saying or why any directors insist on something there's a duration of the film which okay. is very important absolutely and uh, it's it's that kind of subject that anything that you write mm. will seem fine because it's it's just so broad you know but uh, from the point of view of film whatever is required was there i mean in in additional scenes yes those three four scenes can come in the film and they'll just add more right <coughs> but they'll add to the length of the film right whatever is required for people to understand bhaskar is is all there you also said that uh, now there are many actors who are very keen on uh, just yes, finding out who's yes, the writer of the yeah. movie and especially the youngsters uh, um, we interact with them a lot of them like beat uh, Ranveer or Pariniti or Arjun or Alia or almost anyone, uh, they are very conscious of the fact that what sort of writing is there uh, in, in in the film. Like say for example, Ki and Kada, the way Balki has written it. I think some of the portions are really, really progressive and and intelligently done. Do you feel that can make a difference? That the more and more stars, Sonam is very particular right. about. She always mentions uh, the name of her writers in the interviews, which I think is is very nice. Uh, so do you feel that uh, you know uh, the stars i feel be? Uh, yes because i think that will be only be the differentiating factor because technically all films are sound um actors i think all of them are great performers they are all um, very good looking they are very new age cool guys which our our generation sort of connects with the only thing that will differentiate one actor from another is the kind of subjects the kind of script he or she decides to ji, go ji. so therefore i think it's imperative that they insist on writing that sort of puts pressure on the producers on everybody who's who's putting their money into it you know because even from audience point of view if you see i think we're very well exposed lot now we mm. can make out difference between a good film good writing versus a bad film and you know what a terrible story it was so Bilkul. so Bilkul. the good part is that audience is also rubbishing it slowly but they, i think they are sort of realizing the you know aise thi dekhar aa gaye bhai ko but what is what, just provoking a, a question that uh, what is your opinion on the ba- writing of batman versus superman do you know i haven't seen it i haven't seen it i haven't seen it so batman i'm not able to superman do you bleed <laughs> yeah i mean excuse me yeah, yeah. do you bleed yeah so i'll make you bleed <laughs> so but it's you know seeing is those are those perfect still, example yeah, of yeah. you have humongous amount of budget and the writing is like you have the president of america yeah, yeah. saying use the nuclear bomb wow. it comes yeah. across it as, a, as a as a cracker you know, see, but the thing is that right now in us the writing is happening in uh, tv right. you know the the films have become uh, what do you call them the franchises and you know just uh, the money making that G. that that, that space is uh, different now but over here right now thankfully we are just beginning to experience um, that's great that a film can be well written to 
I, I think it's it's a new phenomenon which everybody is sort of enjoying and I think if somebody wants to be a writer, this is the time. If you want to be an actor, this is the time. If you want to be a director, this is the time. Because everybody wants to see. While the conversations on uh, in papers are which film made how much money, like today, uh, today's paper said that why fan is so important for Shah Rukh Khan mm. because everybody else, you know, in his, uh, his his contemporaries have made like a 300 crore plus. I don't think I, that should be the reason. Those, those things know, are not just, fair. Yeah, it's a, that it's cannot that, be the fun conversation. It's not that sort of film actually. Yeah, I, I think it's important film for Shah Rukh because he's mm. a great actor. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a absolutely. Subject and a lot like depends that, upon yeah. the fact that how much you're making a film at, how much you're selling a film at. Yeah, so I think the times. conversations that happen yeah. publicly should be more about writing about performance, bilkul, about direction bilkul, rather than absolutely, monies. Kisko wo paisa mil raha hai audience mein, kiske paas wo paisa ja raha hai, 300, 200 crore. Ultimately, they should remember the film Correct, for, for, for what, what it is worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you doing next, Joey, after this? I am about to finish one for Shajit mm. and uh, then I'm in conversation with other directors as well. So let's see where it goes. I have a couple of projects lined up. Right. And Hamara Bajaj as well? Uh, no, Hamara Bajaj was not my idea, was not mm. my script. I would have gotten into it, but I think the, the film also was written many years back, so somehow it didn't seem, um, you know, it just sort of aged for me. Mm. I couldn't uh, really find myself doing it. But right. yeah, somebody else will do it. Do you feel that somehow when, when, when a screenplay writer is writing his or her own dialogues, it always uh, makes a positive di difference somehow? Do you feel that? Of course, yes. Mm. It, it's, it's like your own child mm. who you are bringing up versus you, somebody else, you know, it's raising on someone else. It always helps because it's your first, it's your own creation. You know exactly every screenplay writer, I'm assuming, knows the character best and um, what language he speaks, how he talks, how he behaves, where he is from, all those details which um, everybody doesn't know and doesn't come out in the film, Ji. doesn't need to. But he knows the screenwriter and if someone is writing a dialogue, or he asks all the questions in detail in detail so that he makes the character to make his own dialogues. But it doesn't matter like that. So natural writing will come when you do everything yourself. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Joey, it was uh, wonderful talking to you and um, congratulations once again so for, the, for the National Award and uh, looking forward to all your future ventures. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. Thanks thank you. Lot. Thanks so much. That's all we have from Bollywood Rangam. Keep on watching.